All right, ah, oh. When you look back on life, there are some spots that you can just pinpoint that that was the moment that X happened. That was the moment I fell in love. That was the moment I had enough. That was the moment I knew I wanted more. And for me, that first swim class that I had, the first pool session I had, was the moment I decided I wanted to do more in free diving. Yeah, big <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now it was time to go to the deep pool. For this, we were going to the Nangang Sports Center, where they had the deepest pool I had ever swam in. This class was all about the duck dive and equalization. For those of you who don't know, equalization is how divers go down to depth without their airs exploding. This is basically popping your airs. Now, before this class, I had been practicing my equalization every single day, and I was good at it, but only in an upright position. I could sink to the bottom like a rock, equalizing as I go down. But the moment I had to turn upside down and go head first, for some reason, I just couldn't equalize. But the entire first hour of this class, I was just having problems going down, equalizing. And I started to get a bit frustrated and upset. I was like, am I never going to be able to free dive because I can't do this? It just wasn't clicking. Then Joanna gave me a little tip. She said, don't go down vertically right now. Go down diagonally. Every little step, equalize, then go down a little deeper. Equalize, then go down a little deeper. And just keep doing that until you get to the bottom. I don't know why it worked, but it just clicked. It really was a miracle tip for me because it just made sense and then as soon as it worked, vertical was a breeze. It felt so good to just be able to dive to the bottom of the pool and just hang out there for a while, waving hello, having the time of my life in this five meter pool. It's funny because every experience that I was having in this free diving course, everything just kept topping the other thing. Okay, tonight we are going to the night market here in Kenting, Taiwan. So basically the night market is like a carnival slash street fair rolled into one. Stuff. He's, re he's ready for us. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> garlic, one. garlic is number one? Yeah. Now let's do one. garlic. Garlic. garlic you at one. Yeah. I have no idea what it is, but he's saying it's the number one, so we're going to do that. Ah, okay. How much? Oh, 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 oh,
So you all know I could not leave the night market without trying this. I love squid. I love it. I can't tell you of a country that I've been to that I didn't enjoy the squid. I've eaten already for the night and I've had squid already for the night, but this is night market squid, so we're gonna have to try it. Uh, may I have one? May I have one squid? Yes. On the street in Taiwan? Yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, you see, she's giving me the poison. One, let's go. Two, three. So some of the things on this menu, crispy large intestine. What is what is this? Yeah. Oyster I'll take it. I'll take an oyster. They just presented me with my oyster and it is way more than I thought it was going to be. I don't even know how to eat this. <laughs> This is so big. Okay. Okay. How you doing? You good? You good? <laughs> okay. So a lot of It is a lot of oyster, but it is a lot of good. Okay, now I'm, I'm questioning, is this some radioactive oyster? My friend, how are you doing? <laughs> I love this. Very excited for today. I am at the Dive Cube Hotel where I am going to get to swim in Taiwan's deepest swimming pool. Very, very, very much looking forward to that. I'm hoping that I get so good today that I can just swim to the bottom and touch the bottom. Oh Lord, this boy is delusional. That's my goal. <laughs> Okay, that's the goal for today. 21 meters. <laughs> I have no idea if I'll, I'll make it. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to this one, but that's the goal. Fingers crossed. I had not even gone past five meters, and yet I was looking at going to 21 meters. Dive Cube is a very special place. It is beautiful. When I saw the pool, I was eager to get into it. I wasn't intimidated by the surface of the pool. I must admit, once I got inside and I was able to see under the water, that's when the butterflies came. Joanna started to put us through our paces. First, we did some warm-up exercises, you know, just going down a little bit and then coming back up. Then she demonstrated the safety protocols, which is very important for anyone learning freediving. Then it was time to do the deep dive. Now, in order to pass my PADI certification, I needed to dive to a depth of 10 meters.
After I reached the surface, I was so ecstatic. I was smiling, I was laughing, and I looked at Joanna to be like, yes, I did it. And she looked at me and she was like, what happened to you? Now you won't see any footage after this point because what happened to me was that I came up and my nose was bleeding. Joanna was concerned about my nose. So she said she couldn't give me my certification until we got a doctor to check out my nose. Even though I had that minor setback with my nose bleeding, I still had to progress with my free diving. And one of the things that I needed to do was get a wetsuit. So I am getting my first wetsuit done today. The Bruce Lee style, three millimeters. Hopefully I'll be able to float in it, but at least it looks cool. For scuba diving, because in scuba diving you cannot recognize every each one. Diving for a month with this young lady right here hey, from Soul Free. <laughs> and we finally ordered my pair of fins. I'm very excited to see it. Whoa, whoa. I know. Right. Let's see these bad boys. Oh, this is nice. This is beautiful. Come on. Come on, your Christmas gift just arrived early. Nice. Oh, hear the sound. Hear the sound. Oh my God! It's a dive bar. Yeah. Oh. Nice. So I decided to go with a medium hardness. There's soft hardness, medium hardness, and hard hardness. I went with the medium just because I'm a bit taller, so I have yep. a little bit more power that I could that I would need some of this to propel me forward. Based on your height and weight. Yes, which is light <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i am can't wait to break these bad boys in here at the nangan dive oh yeah dive bar. yes, yes, put me yes. Under, put me <laughs> i hadn't been diving for more than a month yet i was already featured on taiwanese television talking about free diving well actually they were there to interview joanna but they saw me and said hey let's put that guy on camera To be honest, I've always loved the water, so for me, free diving is a natural progression from learning how to swim back in the Caribbean. You get to learn to relax, you get to learn to be calm, you get to learn to, you know, stay under the water for a lot longer so you appreciate the moment, you appreciate the experience more when you're down there. Whether you're running, you're swimming, you're, you know, basketball, everything has some level of risk. You can twist your ankle in something, you can break a bone. So yes, there are risks when it comes to free diving, but that's why it's so important to train, to study, to actually learn whatever it is that you're doing before you do it.
Smoke the foot.